All right, welcome to my Felina Ranked Skin Gameplay and Review. So if you weren't aware, you can get this skin as well as her pickaxe 100% free. All you have to do is get 25 levels for the pickaxe, 50 levels for the skin. Now I'm sure most of you probably have 50 levels by now, but I don't get to play Fortnite that much. So I used the level up quest pack. As you can see, I got some rewards right here, the Astral Mantis as well as the Proxima Blade. Those came from Zane's Level Up Quest Pack. So right now I believe there are at least two weeks worth of quests for that. So that's 14 free levels right away. So that's how I personally got to level 50. So if you need a boost, obviously get that Level Up Quest Pack. It's super, super easy. Now the good part about this skin is that it's based on your rank. So whatever rank you have, that's what you can customize her color scheme as. Now, luckily, I'm on real rank in zero build, so I can show you each and every single color scheme. So we'll check this out. We'll see how she looks with all the different ranks. And I was going to say we'll see if she's worth it, but she's 100% free, so of course she's worth it. Here's what the Lego skin looks like, by the way. So it's more of a purple and black color scheme. A little bit of red and white mixed in there as well. And I think this might be the bronze color right here, but we'll find out. So I'll be showing you the complete ranked loadout this season. First of all, obviously the skin itself. So she does have the rank on, which obviously will display all your ranked color schemes or the ranked off. So this is a great option just in case you don't like any of your ranked color schemes, but the color scheme that she gets is kind of weird. I don't even know what color that is. It's almost like a greenish gray. Uh, it might just be gray, but it's very hard to tell in the locker. And then she's got that nice blood red. Now, she also has some ears and, oh, she doesn't have a tail. I thought she did have a tail. No, no tail, just ears. And she does have high heels and this, like, lengthy jacket as well. Now, let's take a look at all the ranked colors. So, obviously, what changes, let's just cycle between the two, is that weird green-gray color scheme. It looks like the red always stays regardless. So, that could be a little frustrating because I'm sure not all these colors are going to go with red. I like bronze here. It's almost like a gold. That's not too bad. It does look great with the red too. Here's silver. So this is pretty close to the ranked off color scheme. It's just a little brighter. It's almost like a teal. That's not bad though. Here's the actual gold. Okay, so comparing that to bronze, I guess this really does look gold. And I've got the back bling as bronze right now too, so you can see the comparison there. And actually, gold and red looks really clean. Moving on, we've got platinum. So this is a nice teal color. I failed to mention it before, but she's also got that giant mark on her hood. I guess so far, all the colors are meshing well with that red. Then we've got diamond. This is a almost crystalline blue. Blue and red, obviously a solid choice. Moving on to the upper tier ranks, we've got elite. So, wow, this is interesting. Apparently, for the upper ranks, which are Elite, Champion, and Unreal, you get a complete modification. Because look at this. Her ears have now changed, and the inside of her jacket has changed, in addition to this almost angel-like glow that flows upwards. So, again, here's Diamond. No glow. Inside of the cape, everything that was previously red is still red. And then, boom! Boom! You get that nice effect, and it looks like the color scheme itself kind of swirls around. And then inside the jacket, not only does it change colors, it's almost like a bunch of diamonds in there. So that's really nice. I don't remember any rank skin doing that in the past. Now my favorite rank is champion. Let's take a look at that. Holy smokes. That is what I'm talking about. Look at that orange. Finally, a deserving orange color scheme in the champion rank. Amazing. That actually looks literally fire. I love that. All right, last but not least, let's go to Unreal. Nice purple color scheme. And in addition, there's even more animation. Now you've got little triangles spewing out. That didn't happen for the champion nor the elite. So it looks like you get a little bit of upgrade for all the higher ranks. And then the ultimate upgrade is Unreal. Got some bluish tinted triangles spewing out there. A beautiful purple. And then the inside of the jacket's purple as well. Wow, that is not bad. This is a sweet rank skin. I'm glad nobody had to pay for it and that it's 100% free. Now the back bling is called the Vanguard Star. 
So I haven't actually looked at any of the styles in this, so I'm not sure what they look like. So this is going to be a first for me as well. I left the champion rank on the skin. So let's take a look starting at bronze. So it's basically a nice star and then the bottom portion is split and hovering. Okay, so bronze is pretty standard. Silver. Okay, nothing too special there. Gold. That looks a little better than bronze did. I'm curious if the higher ranks are going to have that special effect again. Platinum is that nice teal. And we've got diamond. And in the gameplay, I'll show you all the color schemes matched together. So don't worry about that. Ah, yes, they do. So from diamond on down, you just have the same pattern repeating, but a different color scheme. Starting at elite, though, you can see there's now a top part. It's almost like a nice crown. And you've got that aura. That heavenly aura is what it reminds me of. That nice white glow. So a lot going on there. A little bit busier than the lower ranks for sure. Quick comparison there. All right, here's the champion. Wow. So that's almost like a gold orange mixed together. That is really clean. This might be the best ranked skin we've had yet. And then lastly, let's see if Unreal's got the special effect. Now, I don't see any triangles spewing out this time, but that's a nice violet purple color scheme. Very impressive so far. Now let's see if the pickaxe does that. Remember, last season's pickaxe for ranked did not have any effect whatsoever. You could not change your color scheme based on your ranked, which was stupid, in my opinion. I believe Felina's Claw can. Let's see. You absolutely can. This is beautiful. Okay, so let's turn the rank off first. Wow, that's a phenomenal non-ranked color scheme pickaxe. Nice black and red. Let's just swing that real quick. So phenomenal non-ranked pickaxe color scheme. So here's the bronze one. I'm assuming that all the red is gonna stay just like it did with the skin. Let's just go out and swing this real quick. Ah, man, okay, maybe I was mistaken because that still looks black and red to me. Let's see, we'll move on to silver. So yes, the red does stay. Oh man, so maybe it doesn't change, that's a bummer. They had one job, that's all they had to do. That looks pretty good. Here's gold. That looks very similar to the bronze. Just a very subtle change. Okay. Moving on to platinum. That's that nice teal color. Here's the diamond. Solid blue and red. Moving on to elite. Let's see if we get any bonus upgrades. Ooh. I don't know about that one. Elite is just a weird color. I actually think the rank off looks way better than the elite one okay moment of truth please be a super cool orange color here we go oh that kind of looks weird as well where's the orange at okay so pickaxe so far a little bit disappointing in the higher ranks How about unreal even that maybe it looks better in game we'll see let's equip that and see if that at least changes the splash nope Ah, so Pickaxe had me super impressed at the start, but after seeing some of these color schemes, I don't know. I feel like the ranked off is the best one. It has the nice splash. It's probably got a nice contrail. Yeah, I don't know. We'll try these and see what they look like merged all together. And then last but not least, we do have the Ranker's Doom Brella. So this should flow quite nicely with the skin as well. So for the bronze one, you've got the purple contrail coming out of the top. Let's see what changes. Looks like the black remains. Purple Contrail stays the same so far too. Gold one looks really good. Black and gold with a little bit of purple in there. Then we've got Platinum. So I think the glider is the best accessory so far. The color schemes look phenomenal. Diamond. Okay, so thus far... The purple contrail coming out the top has been the same for all of them. Let's see if the upper ranks do anything. Here's Elite. Yes, so that does change the contrail. That makes it a green color. Again, real quick, here's a comparison from Diamond to Elite. So that's a great Elite color scheme. Why couldn't the pickaxe look like that? That's amazing. How about the orange? 
That's beautiful as well. I'm not sure why it turned teal though for the contrail. It should have been a nice orange. You see you've got the glow too coming out. Did this one have the glow? Okay, this one did have the glow too. Yeah, a little confused by the blue on this one. And then the ultimate reward, Unreal. Okay, that's perfect. That's nice. It's like a pink matching with the purple. That's a great looking glider. All right. And then lastly, we do have the Vanguard's Charge Emote. So unfortunately, you can't pick what displays here. Originally, people said it was based on your survival medals, but that's not true, and I can prove it. Because look right there, that llama is purple. And remember, my highest rank is Unreal. So it's got a purple glow and purple lightning. Everything's purple about that. But if we come to my survivor medals, let me just show you. I've maxed them out this season. And the ultimate reward is not purple. It's this one right here, Mythic. So if it was based on these, it would be a gold for me. It wouldn't be this epic one. So yeah, it's 100% based on your rank. As you can see, again, right there. That is not gold at all. That is purple because my highest rank is unreal. Okay, so I'm going to hop into a match and I'm going to show you all of these color schemes. It's probably going to take a while, but it should be worth it. For a wrap, I'm just going to use a jet black boogeyman wrap just because I don't want to match all the color schemes. But you could, but that would take me even longer. So here we go. I'm going to start with the default skin and the default pickaxe as well. We'll check that out first and then we'll go through all the ranked color schemes. Okay, so here's the skin itself. So the non-ranked version is actually kind of clean in game. It's definitely more of a silver. In my locker, it looked almost greenish. Let's take a look from the front here. At first, I was a little skeptical about the red, but that actually looks really clean. It brings out the other colors a little bit. Let's take a look at the pickaxe. I'll do the pull-out sound and the swing. Here we go. Okay, so again, the default looks great. That red and black, very clean all around. It's got a nice contrail when you swing. And as we saw in the locker, this apparently is the splash effect for every single color scheme, which is kind of unfortunate. Let's turn the lights off. So the red still looks good in the dark. Nice color scheme again. That looks solid. Here's what she looks like with no back bling. You can see a little bit of red there, right down her spine. So the default version, with no rank is actually quite impressive, especially with no back playing. It looks great. No complaints here. Okay, so this is bronze with the bronze umbrella. So the bronze kind of looks gold, at least with the glider, as we saw in the locker. But you can see how the glider functions. The purple contrail just kind of spews out the top. And then the underside is purple as well. That's interesting. Okay, so in-game, the pickaxe looks quite nice. Again, still same contrail. The bronze looks pretty good. Definitely reminds me of gold, but I'm sure when we see the gold one, that's going to look great as well. Very clean. Aim down sights, by the way, is perfect. The ears don't protrude up that much. You can clearly see the color scheme of your rank. Looks good. Let's just double check a splash. Yeah, that doesn't change. Here she is in the dark. Very clean on the bronze. This is promising. Okay, so this stinks. I've tried about eight times now to swap color schemes on my map and it's not working. So I have to go into a game every single time to show you all these combos because no matter what, nothing changes. It's just stuck at bronze. As you can see, I'm on silver for everything. But when I load into this map, it just keeps me at bronze. It's like I'm stuck. So I don't know what's going on, but this is going to take me forever now because i got to hop into a match. I'm going to go into custom matches so I don't die every time, but uh, just know I put a lot of effort into this video. So let's go check out Silver in a real match. Okay, so here's Silver, in particular the glider. We're in the full nighttime effect right now. So again, you can still see the purple there. Looks pretty solid though, especially in the dark. So here's the pickaxe. That's not bad. I think silver and red looks really good. 
Again, still with the red contrail. Aim down sides, you can clearly see the silver. Back bling looks good. Take a look from the front. Yeah, silver and red. Not too shabby. And here she is during the day. You get a lot more brighter color scheme with the silver. All right, next up is gold. Let's see how that looks. Yeah, gold and purple on the glider. I think that looks amazing. So as mentioned, though, at the start, it's a little more yellowish. I feel like bronze looks more gold than gold does. So you can definitely see the brighter color scheme on the skin. Let's contrast it with a white drop down here and see how that looks. I mean, that's not too bad either. I really, really enjoy this rank skin. Sometimes the color schemes are just blah, but these so far have been all pretty sweet. Yeah, check that out. Here's the pickaxe. Pickaxe is what I was most worried about on all these, remember? Here's a little bit of shade. Not bad at all. Let's take a look from the front. Look at that, though. Red and black and gold. That's just a superb color right there. Oh, man, the sun's going down. I got a scope on this. We didn't check the scoped factor. Doesn't look like anything's glitching out. So the jet black wrap goes great with all of them, simply because the jacket is always black. So that's great. And remember, the inside is always red until we get to the higher ranks. All right, let's wait till the nighttime effect since it's going down. Okay, here we go. Full nighttime effect. That looks great as well. Get a little more actual gold-like color from it in the dark. Yeah, that's pretty sweet. From the front, look at that. This is probably my favorite one so far. All right, here we go. This is Platinum, which is that nice teal color scheme. Let's see what the glider looks like. All right. Definitely not the best color scheme. I'm curious what the red's going to look like. Let's again land in the snow. Surprisingly, the purple seems to go with everything so far. All right. Yeah, the only thing that would have made this better is if the contrail and splash on the pickaxe changed as well. I wonder why they didn't factor that in. They seem to factor everything in except for that. All right, well, that's not bad. Looks good in the snow, at least. Next up is the fan favorite, Diamond. It's got that nice blue color scheme. That looks pretty solid. The glider's a little darker than the skin color scheme, though. You can see it's like a light blue on the skin, and it's more of a darker blue up top, so that's kind of strange. But it doesn't exactly look terrible. And again, mixed with that purple contrail, that looks pretty solid as well. That's definitely the biggest difference so far we've seen with the glider and the skin. Okay, so the pickaxe looks more silver to me. I mean, I guess it is a little light blue. Tough to say. Color schemes in this game always mess with my mind. In the locker, they look one way, and then in game, they look different. I think so far, this has been the weirdest combo, just because if you look at the back bling, and as you saw with the glider, it's not really flowing as well as some of the other ones did. Yeah, the arms and the legs and the face are just a lighter color than a lot of the others. It almost looks silver to me right here. This kind of looks like the silver one we saw, doesn't it? I just wish this was way more blue than what we're seeing here. So a little disappointing with the diamond. I guess I'll wait till nighttime. Maybe that'll make it a deep, dark blue. We'll see. I'll wait. Okay, so I don't know what just happened, but my back bling literally turned into one of the higher tier ranked ones. How did that happen? I was just jumping around like this. And it, like, mutated into Elite. That is so strange. It's white now. Like, completely white. Now I'm all sorts of confused. Look at that. What happened? Wait a minute. Did my entire skin change? Now I look like I'm silver. I'm so confused. What 
happened? Wait, did I go to the default rank? I don't know. Look at my color scheme. It's not blue at all now. I guess we won't be waiting. Okay, so I don't know if diamond is glitched. <laughs> I'm just so confused. Okay, well, let's uh, let's back out. Uh, yeah, I don't know what to say on that one. Okay, here we go. This is the first upper tier rank elite. So remember, everything changes here. We've got a new color scheme on the umbrella. You can see that aura kind of extends out that nice glow. The contrail turns into that green. So the underside has little hints of green as well, because remember that used to be purple and everything underneath was purple as well. You can see the inside of her jacket has that prism effect. It's pretty sweet. Let's land in the snow and we'll take a closer look. I like that they made subtle adjustments like that for the highest tiers. That's something to grind for, I think. Okay, here we go. So again, Pickaxe is a little lackluster. It's almost like a chrome. The red still looks good, of course. The back bling just gets a little more bulky with that crown effect on the top, but you can see the glow coming from the star, so that's pretty sweet. You can just barely make out the glow from the top of her head. In the locker, you could see that really good. Almost like streaks shooting up. Here's from the front. You can definitely notice the inside of the cape, so that's a nice effect. And obviously the ears have changed as well. Let's aim down sights. Okay, so there you can see the effects a little better. So you can see how her skin, or I guess metal in regards to her, kind of illuminates a little bit. So that's pretty cool. And again, the stream of the animation flowing upwards. Not bad at all. I like it. I think I'm going to like the next rank even better, though. Let's go check out my favorite champion. All right, here we go. Champion Brella. Look at that. I'm trying to determine if that's a different sound effect, too. Did it always make that noise? I don't know. This skin is beautiful, though. Again, when you free fall, you can... Definitely see the inside of the jacket, which is amazing. I guess the blue is not too bad. I was a little worried about that, but that looks pretty sweet. And we're about to get the full nighttime effect, so I'm just going to stay in the air a second. You can see the underside all has the teal blue as well. Let's redeploy it one more time in the full nighttime effect. Look at that. You can see the sheen coming right off it there. That looks pretty solid. Sometimes the champion orange looks really, really bad. But I feel like this is the best one we've ever had in terms of this orange. Especially that cape. Love it. Pickaxe, though, yeah, a little disappointing. What did they do to it? It's, again, like a chromey effect. I don't even see any orange in there. I feel like they messed up the pickaxe on these higher tier ranks. I don't know. Darn it. I think you can pick a better orange pickaxe for this combo. But the arms and the legs look great. Look at that. Back bling looks good. It's almost like a gold with orange effects to it. And then the claws turn that orange color as well. I'm loving this. Let's take a look from the front. Look at the inside of the jacket. Holy smokes, that's awesome. That's like a fire orange back there. I love that. I think Unreal is going to look phenomenal as well. Yeah, just very impressed with this one, other than the color of the pickaxe. Interesting. All right, let's go check out the ultimate reward, Unreal. All right, here we go. Unreal Ranker's Doom Umbrella. That's definitely the best one so far. So the glow is almost like a blue. So we've got blue, we've got purple, we've got black, and then that hot pink on top. Wow, okay, that's definitely the best glider. As much as I love orange, I think they nailed it with Unreal, as they should though. I mean, that's the hardest rank to get. 
and you definitely want to show it off. And that's quite impressive, I'm not going to lie. I was a little worried about the pink at first, but yeah, that looks pretty solid. And the neon pink underneath, impressive as well. Okay, so at least with this pickaxe, you can see the purple. Still, it's that chromey effect, but I see hints of purple in there, especially right here. Whereas with the champion one, I didn't see squat. It was like just chrome. So you can see the triangle animation there. We're going to definitely see that when we aim in, as you can see. So that's just a nice effect. It comes right out of the shoulders there. And you can see the aura near her hood there. Take a look from the front. That is beautiful. One more time with the umbrella. Definitely a flex to run this entire combo. And then don't forget about your emote. We'll just do that real quick because it does show our Unreal rank right there. The ultimate flex this season. Pretty sweet. So there you go. This is definitely the best ranked skin so far. Maybe not the skin itself, but the fact that you can customize the entire combo to match your rank is just amazing. That is perfect. The only thing we need is a wrap that matches your rank. I don't think we have one of those yet. Someone correct me if I'm wrong, but a jet black wrap works perfectly just because her jacket never changes. It's always that awesome jet black. So you may not like the skin, but the possibilities for combos are just out of this world. I love that they added a boost for the upper tiers, the elite, the champion, and then the unreal. They all have those special effects to them. Even the lower ranks look pretty solid on this skin. My only disappointment was the pickaxe color schemes for some of the ranks, but hey, at least they give you the option. Like I said, the past few seasons, we didn't get an option to change the pickaxe color scheme. So it's great that it's there. It's just some of them were kind of sketchy to say the least. Back bling looked great as well though. And the glider is definitely one of the best ranked gliders we've ever had. Perfect. So there you go. That's the Felina rank skin, chapter five, season four, and all the ranks that you can get. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. A like is always appreciated. And don't forget to use my supporter creator code, which is TaperTime.